Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Good job. You're almost there. Yeah, a couple yeah. more. Welcome to this week's choice. This week, our choice is Texas. And it's gun season down in South Texas, the Covenant Ranch, but our choice is our 10-point crossbows. And we actually got to field test the new Phantom, which was awesome. Yeah, we did. You know, it comes almost totally sighted and they bore sighted. Is that correct? Yes. They well, bore, well, they, 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 they pre-sighted. They pre-sighted. Yep. It took us four shots to get it sighted in. 20, 30, and 40 yards. And it was unbelievable. pretty unbelievable. darn accurate. Yes. So are you about ready to go down to, to Texas? Yeah, because it's getting chillier here. <laughs> yeah, OK. Hey, don't forget to look for your tradition sticker this week. Is that what it is? It's a lucky logo to this week. It's the lucky traditions. logo is traditions. Let's go down do, south, do, 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 south Texas. Do, do. do you need another arrow? Well, we made it to San Antonio. We have Hal Gom in the truck. He is in the truck. Hal Gom. Truck Hal Gom. straighten out here. It is Hal Gom. Hey, somebody's got to take care of y'all when you come to San Antonio. Is that what it is? Yeah, we're going to go fatten y'all up a little bit. You know, Ralph's looking like he's malnourished. I'm kind of worried about him, so we're going to take him and feed him here in a little bit. Are you, I bet you're hungry too, aren't you? That's the big I mean, always hungry. I know. I was going to say, it's I mean, really, really Hal's hungry. Look how because... skinny I am. Everybody's worried about me, you know? Yeah, we need to make sure that none of us like get too skinny around here. We're on our way down the Covenant Ranch. Hal here is going to make sure we get down there safe and sound. And who knows? We're going to go shoot us a couple deer, maybe some bobcats and predators. And you never know what else. Well, once again, we're down here in South Texas, thanks to Dr. Jim Leiniger and, and the Leinigers and Mr. Helgam. Helgam. Our crazy old buddy from north, from northwestern Illinois, who's down here now doing all the managing for all the honey. Let me think. Let's see. We left this morning. It was, Vic. What was it? Six degrees. Yeah. Okay. Six without the wind chill, so it's probably minus five. And people ask us why we come to Texas in December. Need I say more? You can tell we're roughing it. Yeah, this, this wall tent down here in Texas is a pretty rough thing to take, if you know what I mean. But uh, we're, we're excited. This is the new 10-point Phantom. May I please? See that hole? You see the dark hole there? You don't see it, really? In the middle, not the bottom one. Not the bottom one, the one right above it, to the right. Yep. See the stick right above it? The higher one? Right there. Hey, Ralph, you're supposed to be hitting where you're aiming. Come on, get with it. Nice. It really is nice. It's a whole other thing of hunting. And if it could keep us hunting more, why not? Yeah, it was boar sighted, and we actually, I mean, we weren't that far off from what we were trying to do at all. So, I mean, it took us one, two, three, five arrows, five shots. Welcome back to The Choice. Now it's my turn, and I'm heading out, well, for deer, but you can't imagine this big hog that comes by. <laughs>
Wow, Ralph, you actually hit the hog. Congratulations. You know what I love about hunting South Texas? You never know what's coming in. And as long as it's open season, you're gonna have a blast. After shooting a hog and being quiet, the deer come in. I shot a deer. A great day hunting. It's a big hog. Really? Yeah. Big black and white one. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here. <laughs> huh? Oh, I don't. I don't know. If you get down your bottom shot, will smack you on your butt with this arrow if you shot my hog. <laughs> no. Come on. We never saw that other buck. But. We need to go recover this Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, the buck was standing right here. That's where he kicked. Arrow went through him. Okay? Both of them ran. We're, it's funny, we're going to have the same blood trail. That arrow Both kept... Ran in the same direction? Yeah. Both of them ran this route. You got blood there? Okay, the hog stayed closer to this trail. I got blood, 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 spraying good. Here's blood over here. Here. Oh. Yeah, bang, bang. There it go. Let it go. You did it. You put the smack on him. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that a good management deer or what? Look at that. He's got no eye guards. Is he the one you're talking about, right? That's, that's the one. That's the perfect one. Right there. So right there, believe it or not, is a perfect management deer to take out of the herd. No eye guards. What do you figure he is? Leo, what are you guys, three and a half? Three and a half years old. Nothing going on here. Perfect deer to get rid of. And we did. My first crossbow, like, bark crossbow, kill. Crossbow. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Way to go. Thanks, buddy.
Well, I'm telling you, Leo and Hop, these guys are hounds. They're they're hounds. They're bloodhounds. This but he he this this hog left hardly any blood, huh? Hardly but any. he actually ran the same. Oh, look at the look at the cactus. <laughs> See it? No, look right there. Look at all the blood on the cactus. See it right there? No, you think I'm nuts? Okay, oh. And he actually ran the same trail as my buck did. And these guys found him. But watch this cactus. Because here in Texas, anything that grows will ki cut you, prick you, stick you, kill you. Ow, that one stuck. Oh, man, that one stuck good, bud. Oh. Oh. There's some dirt on it. Shake it off and get back oh. in the it's far from the heart. That's oh man, that's in the knee bad. <laughs> oh yeah, shake it off. Oh man, that one's in. Right? No, 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 no! I'll beat the crap. That's a nice hog, huh? Yeah. Look at the size of that hog. Look at the look at the long head on it. See that? Spitfire, baby. That's those ones we we gave you. Oh, that was the outside. Man, look at that's a beautiful hog. Look at the size of it. Long snout, look at the teeth. Okay. Yes, sir. Thanks you, bloodhound. Two animals with my new phantom, 10 point phantom. This is cool. Welcome back to the choice. Now let's go javelina hunting. What happened? <laughs> We're just gonna go hunting now. Leave us alone. We're gonna go get some javelina. He's, I hope he's still over there. I saw him a little bit ago and he's. He's uh, feeding up and down the Sendero. He's a big one. He's a big one. He's a big one. He's a big pig. So we're going to get a big pig. Yeah. Well, he's a javelina. 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 He's got a beautiful mark down the, you know, that big white streak yeah. down the yeah, he's a big, I thought he was a pig. I thought he was a big old hog at first when I was looking. I saw him 250 yards down the Sendero. Do you know what a big hog looks like? I know what a big hog looks like. Okay, just checking, because yeah. you just said you thought it was a big hog, and a javelina and a hog really don't look the same. I know they don't, but okay. they're black. Hey, Vic, that's called choking. You missed. And you talk about me, woman? Choice. Thank goodness that city idea is adjustable. That's not nice. You hit a what bullseye. You... you did a good job there. Congratulations. You're making now, fun of my height again. Now let's go. Well, look at how tall you are. <laughs> You're standing <laughs> on a tree, Rook. 
Yeah, let's go see her deer. Mm. Why don't you go get my arrow? This is stuck in my sock, I think. Could be in trouble. Everything down here sticks you, pricks you, poke you. Bites you, kills you. you. It kills you. Kidding aside, Vic, you go, girl. You know, that deer was on a heavy quarter and away, and you aimed for the opposite leg. Entrance was far back, exit was perfect. It pains me to say, but great shot. There we go. Spitfire, baby. I know I usually use shockwaves, but. Off at Spitfires already for these for the crossbow, so get to say his his tagline Spitfire baby. Good blood on there, too. I think I'll leave my arrow here, though. I don't need to take that with me. He went running that way. Got some good blood going on here. You can almost walk the path. When I shot at him, he was good scoot blood. He was quartering away, pretty steep quarter away. But he, uh, he took it all up in there. There he is, right there. Now, like I said, he was quarter, severely quartering away. I took him. My shot entered in front of the back hip, but look at this. Come here, big guy. What a beautiful buck. Let's see where the exit's at. Oh, yeah. How... <laughs> Perfect, act. I mean, I went, I aimed for that opposite leg like you're supposed to do, and I mean, I took everything out that I needed to. Look at him, he's beautiful. Beautiful eight point, like we said, trying to manage the eights, trying to get rid of the eights here. We figured three and a half year old, he's got. Or older. Yeah, or older, because he's got a really good flat head here, he's got a Roman nose going, and we're down in South Texas on the Covenant Ranch. And this is a heck of a management buck, I'll tell you that, huh, Ralphie? My management buck is a little bit bigger than Ralph's. It ain't right. Well, sure it is. I don't see a thing wrong with that. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. You know, and once again, as you know what the choice is all about, it's the freedom to choose with what weapon, with what style, or, you know, technique. Or which or, side you want to stand on on the hill. I'm on, I'm on the taller side of the hill now. We want, to, <laughs> we want to thank the Covenant Ranch, the Linegers, Hal Gom, Jody, all the people down there. I mean, they're just great people. But more than anything is, you know, I still want to make that statement is in Texas, they end up, you know, they bait the animals, they, they, they throw out the corn or whatever, nutri you know, feed, however they're pellets, doing it, whatever yep, it is. to bring those animals out. Now, a lot of times we'll get emails, you know, people say, well, you know, I wouldn't hunt Texas. The bottom line here is it doesn't matter where you're hunting. If it's legal in the state, province or country we need to stop the division amongst ourselves otherwise rj mm -hmm. and the rest of the youth of tomorrow won't have the privilege the opportunity and the lifestyle that we call hunting so thanks for making your choice the choice but we can't end it we Why? need to make sure that you check go on to www.huntingnet.com slash the choice and let us know where you saw that lucky traditions logo was it traditions are you sure it was traditions and don't ever close the show before i'm finished Thanks again for making your choice the choice. See you next week.